Um, one thing I'd like to do, and we're getting them printed at the moment, postcards to make handwritten messages to the minister. We're getting these printed out. We'd like people to, uh, who are willing to take delivery of them, take the responsibility to go out and get some postcards signed, uh, write a handwritten message on, send them back to us. We'll deliver them in a great big sack to the minister when it's appropriate. That's a nice idea. Uh, we're also looking, or I'm looking for designers who are willing to help me create a Senate watch site. So, current Senate, there's six votes in it. If the um, if Colorado wants to bring a vote towards the end of next year before the new Senate, uh, then well, we need the support of either the independent parties or the Liberals. We haven't, I mean, no one knows what the new Liberals are doing. Dick Minchin hates the filter almost as much as we do. Dick Minchin hates the filter, Tony Hammond hates everything all the way around. But there, there's still some doubt, so yeah, let's keep up the pressure, I think. Um, we've had positive messages, obviously, from Senator Ludlam and the Greens. Uh, Senator Xenophon has been quite positive. Building hasn't heard much out of his way. So I want to keep watching that, see what everyone's saying, and how the votes are looking in the Senate, barring a double solution, of course. I also want, to want some help in creating a testimonial site. What I want to do is collect testimonials and interviews from people who are key figures who have a, an interest or have uh, expressed concerns about the filter. I also want to get in contact with the people who run the sites that are likely to be with this classification. Um, people I've been talking to most recently, for example, tourreports.com, who offer a lot of very good drug health information. These are the sorts of sites, Phil Mitchell's Exit International and um, and particularly book on, sorry, the term, um, on euthanasia. These are the sites that are going to be directly adversely affected by the filter, and I think that if we can put together some great school testimonials on why they believe that their site shouldn't be filtered, then I think that's going to be a powerful weapon. Again, in changing that discourse away from child sexual abuse material to what else is important. Yeah. Again, general awareness for everything. Um, we're just saying about it. We need all the help we can get. Designers, well, it makes them easier. It makes them better. So if you run a website, get some links, find more people. I think that the last couple of um, internet campaigns have done actually really well. For example, Section 92A of, um, of the Copyright Introduction in New Zealand of a controversial three strikes filtering policy was defeated by a largely online campaign. They did really well at organising all of the people who were interested in the area to protest it and to get the law repealed. I think that if we can harness the energy that we have in this world and elsewhere on the net to really build this campaign, we can get somewhere. All right, apart from that, I want to open it up. What do you guys think? What does everyone think we should be doing? Where can we go to hear one of your ideas? If you have ideas, please contact me um, or link from this group. I think we should all be working together to see what we can do. Um, sorry, the question? I think well, we should send out groups of five to our local MPs and organize a meeting with um, each of them trying to uh, raise awareness. Yes. Then that will be like quite a fun for us, or you know, at least a very yep. influential group. Mark Newton's done very well at putting together information for how to approach your MP and how to talk to them about what the issues are, because I still yeah. tend to very few MPs out there understand what this policy is. You send them a letter, a reply, and they form a letter for us to go to parties and English people. I'm sorry, Catherine? Uh, there's also in Crikey, I think last week, Bernard King, who's definitely mm -hmm. talked about what it has a massive guide for how to write to your MP. Yes. That's very simple and gives you a step by step how to get their attention. So maybe if we put that on the back of the website. Um, yep, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. I was going to make a better point in relation to that. Um, when you're writing your minister, Try not to write specifically about internet filtering. Mm -hmm. Try and put several topics in it, and one will get in or more mail straight back to you. If you can get as many different topics in there as there is internet filtering, you'll go between the offices mm -hmm. and then you'll have to deal with your topic. They can't just form mail like that. Um, I think we need to educate the public. I've got uh, family and friends who I can't believe that they actually think it's a reasonable idea that the government's yeah. thinking yeah, about doing it. Yeah. And that's because they don't know. They, just, yeah, they, they don't understand, but they're like so. Yeah, yeah they're, they're good people, they're, they're left wing, marched against Joe, and um, I think we need some really good talking points that yeah. are pretty crap yeah. and educate yeah. the, the public. I don't think we should ever mention the word child. Mm -hmm. Just don't talk about it. That's not the issue. We shouldn't, the more we talk about 
their issue is the more they win the debate. No, I, think, I, I mean, we just need to... No, yeah, no that's, that's classical debate strategy. And and I think no, that's classic debate no, strategy. No, 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 that is a red herring. They're, they're trying to divert your attention, so yes, you shouldn't talk about That's properly. classic debate strategy. Since the 90s, the Republicans in America have established very clearly just don't mention their issues. Don't mm -hmm. mention the topics. Yeah. Don't even mention their words. I think it's too late for that now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this has been, become a debate about child porn, and we need to address that. And also, the thing is, we're kidding ourselves if, you know, parents in general, like, particularly not net-savvy parents, you know, to say to them, you're wrong to be worried about what your child is exposed yeah. to on the internet, I think that's that's not accurate, and it's not you know, fair, particularly somebody who doesn't understand the internet. So I think it's very, very important that you do say to parents, you do say to people who just aren't as next savvy as, frankly, the people in this room and who often aren't as young as the people in this room, that, um, yes, there are dangers and there are risks to your children. Let's talk about the best way to manage them. Yeah. And let's talk about the worst possible way to manage them, which isn't, you know, giving a false sense of security to a field. I think we have to be very specific when we talk to you know, family and friends about we that. Could, we could debate it for a long time. Uh, I, I think a lot of parents stop listening about two-thirds of the way through what you were just saying then. Uh, the internet filter will stop a lot of child porn sites. A, pa a lot of parents are going to go, what's the problem? And, and they'll stop listening. It won't stop an individual tracking down a child on the internet and speaking <coughs> this to a child. Is, you guys are engaging in classic debate strategy Educated, intelligent people who want to spend 45 minutes nutting out every little detail of an issue. The problem Mass is media so communication doesn't work that way. It's eight seconds. Guys, yeah. guys can I um, stop? Watch for a sense. Seconds. Um, our second speaker is arrived. Um, guys, want to wrap up this for the moment, and we'll get back to it later. And we'll have lots more chance to have this sort of discussion. So I just want to thank Nick for his um, very. very